we gotta talk about Corey and Kim. Um, let me let, let me let me pull them up to the screen because this shit here is pitiful. Uh, y'all y'all both truly have had a fall from grace. Is if y'all ever really had any grace? I don't want to say y'all ever really did, because <laughs> this relationship was built on nothing but lies. Okay. Corey and Kim getting a divorce. All right. Because Kim then fucked up all this cracker's money. All Wonder Bridge money. She, I she can't say she smoked it up, but she injected it, cut up her body, cut up her daughter's body, stayed in the casino. Fake ass businesses that didn't make no money, trying to live a lifestyle that she didn't, uh, that she couldn't quite afford. Um, uh, apparently, the bitch thought she was married to Tom Brady, but you damn sure ain't no Giselle. You're not even a Kendall Jenner. The fuck? Anyway, Corey Kim getting a divorce. I pray for God that Corey's able to raise those children because she, we see the number that she did with the first two, and she didn't even really raise them. Her mammy and her pappy raised them long before she was licking DJ Tracy's uh, a hot lesbian snatch for uh, for a check and before she was swallowing Big Papa seed for a motherfucking check and a $75,000 black Escalade. I'm here to say, Kim, where is your condo? Did you sell it, bitch? I'm here to say, Kim, all this time you've been in these casinos, why you didn't take your ass to do Dubai and get shitted on by a couple camels to pay your IRS debt and to put your husband's money back in his bank account? You didn't drain the family and your husband was too weak and too meek and too submissive. To put your ass in his place. He know he got in too deep a long time ago and couldn't turn around. This is what your family tried to tell you, Corey. This is all they was trying to tell you, that she was no good. She had a ready-made family. And this woman that was a lot older than you was going to take you for everything that you got. She never really offered anything of substance. I believe she sucked and slurped you and ate that gooch like no other. But you shouldn't have failed for it, Corey. You failed for the okie doke, Corey. She didn't spend up all the church's money, Corey. Not what you gonna do for it. This is what you do. Let me tell you, because see, you ain't got no more money making potential. I don't know why you didn't go on a broadcast and I guess all you got to offer this world is blowing her and blue uh, uh blowing her and blue eyes because apparently uh you wasn't that good of a football player and didn't nobody give a fuck about you talking either. And so instead of taking them Brady Bunch uh, uh, kids that y'all got and going back to Montana and raising them on a ranch with some good wholesome food and some good wholesome values. Y'all tried to live the rich lifestyle in Atlanta and you actually could have done it if you didn't have to fucking live in an eight bedroom mansion. You actually could have done it if you didn't have two, three stylists and two, three, four, five nannies and a motherfucking chef. Why did you need a motherfucking chef and Kim is a stay at home mother? But I can't even call her a stay at home mother because she didn't do all that much mothering when she was at home. She took off a robe and ate pizza and drunk wine out of a red solo cup. Cheers to you, bitch. And, and sat up under all kind of red lasers and, and, and smoked herself into a stroke and had all kinds of plastic surgery and ate Burger King on the way home from the hospital where she was draining and leaking all over y'all Range Rover. So I'm trying to figure out why the fuck Corey, you didn't ever step up to the plate, put her ass in line, and put her ass on the budget. And I'm trying to figure out why y'all ain't filed bankruptcy a long time ago. I'm trying to figure out who in the fuck y'all thought y'all was and why y'all thought Don't Be Tardy for the Party was going to last forever because it was not. I'm trying to figure out why this bitch named Kim will be dragging all the Kims. They said that a white woman would be stupid to ever go back to Real Housewives of Atlanta is now about to slob on Andy Cohen's shitty coke field knob for her motherfucking job back. Remember that shit you was talking, Kim? Kim! Remember that shit you was talking? Remember when you said Candy lived in the hood? Candy houses paid for it. <laughs> Remember when you stole from Candy? Bet you could use a loan from her now. Bet you could use a favor from her now. They put your ass on a pedestal, had you thinking you was a star, you wasn't, had you thinking you actually could do something without the show, you couldn't, had you thinking that you was a leading uh, a member, you a leading cast, and you in the lead, you definitely good support. Go find Nene and go uh, uh, go, go pitch a show to somebody and, and, and listen, listen, listen. You know, over the years, you pretty much have been good for opening Nene's pussy lips and, and, and just riding the train over to, 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 to glory. And so that's what the fuck you go do now. 
you need a job now. Burger King hiring, FedEx hiring, to Amazon hiring, and Uber's always hiring. And push come to shove. I mean, I don't know how old you is. You know, you say you in your thirties. You we met you. You was looking like you was in your fifties, and you had some plastic surgery to take you down to at least your forties. So hopefully, you can still sell that pussy to some. I will be selling, selling pussy cat, selling, selling pussy cat, baby. It's time to sell some pussy cats. It's time you you gonna go and get that divorce. Gonna find you an old ass man. 60s to 70s, they got some money to spend and you'll be back on top. You better go get your Erica Girardi on, Erica Jane. Uh, if you don't watch Roswell's Beverly Hills, you don't know what I'm talking about, but you better figure it out. I have no sympathy for you. You white, you talked all that shit about the black folks. Remember how you treated uh, Sawidi? Where is Sawidi? Where is your slave? <laughs> you need your slave right about now. Bitch, your life wasn't no motherfucking good when you got rid of them niggas. Don't you notice that shit? When niggas was around you, you was on top. You got rid of the niggas and look where you at because you ain't no good without black folks. And, and, and to keep it real, most of y'all really ain't good without no black folks. Low key, high key. Anyway, don't nobody want y'all shitty draws. Don't nobody want y'all old ass 2008 dresses or old ass shorts that Corey didn't uh, 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 went, went commando in. We don't want none of that shit. The best y'all could do is the uh, it's storm show. Ay, it's storm show.